Okie dokie. Last quest, learned about Anne's curse, and then we ended up over here in the under chamber, or for undercroft. Vivelio. And the chest is opened. Alright, let's look at the quest. We have any L mail. I don't think so. Looking at the quest. We got astronomy class. Meet Nettie. So these are the story quests. And then Conjuration. Alahamora. Let me go knock out this and this. And we could probably do this as well. Actually, let me start with this one. Professor Garlic's assignments. There we go, there's the map. Head over to the room of requirements. And then the plants I potted last time. So that's ready. Let me inspect and empty the pot and then put in fluxweed. Oh, fluxweed needs. Oh, it's tall plants. Okay, so I'll, I'll leave Mandrake in there. And then I have to use all three combat plants simultaneously. Um, so... I have this, I have this, and I have that, okay. Acquire all three combat plants and then just use them. So, can I use them here? That's one. That's two. And that's three. You can have your own personal army of plants. I like it. It's so time you to interact. Can it make something? I can make a couple of stuff. Okay, anyways. I have to head back to Professor Garlic. That's gonna be the greenhouse, which was in, I think, the library. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Oh, she's on the other side. Wait, hold up. Do I have something growing here? I didn't need. Let me... Let me replace you with Mandrake. So I can have ammunition. Alright, now it's a good Professor Garlic. She's over there. <laughs> Perhaps a hybrid. Bouncing tentacular. I finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful! I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flippendo? Chin up, keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing as mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few pots. Wonderfully done! If you'd like. Let me add Flipendo. more, you're welcome to do so here in the field. Flipendo, can you the plants, please? Okay. I'm gonna swap that back for the Sendo. As for talents, I have. or I will. Go ahead and unlock the Sendo Mastery and then Glacius Mastery. I'm gonna do that. 
Um, over here, I want to learn Crucia so I can get this. Let me use a new control. The curse effect remains for a longer period. That seems useful. I went ahead and unlocked the fourth um, spell page. And then figure the rest out later. Um, so this is a new quest. Sebastian and Ominous were seen arguing in the Great Hall. Let's go, let's go to this one. Maybe we'll learn a new course or something. Speak with Sebastian. The knockback Jinx Flipendo like Accio is a force spell capable of dispelling violet shield charms by flipping targets upside down. Okay. Ooh. I can probably fast travel to there, so you where are you? You're in the Great Hall. And then I'll get the Foo Flame as well. Okay, let me head to the Foo Flame. Is there a way inside? Let me get this chest since I'm here. Get inside from here. She's still mad at me. I wonder. I wish I'd never told you about my gobstones. I met you. I wonder if they give her the I'm still rebuilding my gobstones collection. stuff back Thanks if you. there's additional quests with her that I might have locked myself out of. So I'm not sure about that. Alright, the flames down here. And then Sebastian's over here. Anything to do with the Dark Heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. Lumos. I won't give up. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. The Dark Arts do pique my interest. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I'd like to know more about it, if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? Crucio, correct? The Cruciatus Curse, also known as the Torture Curse, inflicts excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting it on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. How horrible. Poor Ominous, he was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me, and more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. Lumos. That's so weird. It only... Hmm. Uh, anyways. Next quest. So I'll go ahead and do this one. So a Tale of Roland Oaks. Uh, 
Now let me move the map. And we gotta go to the library. And then he's kind of close to go Central Hall. Lumos. Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh dear. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumours that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle, or am I overthinking this? I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's alright. I... Ugh. Could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. I take it you and your uncle are close. We are. My mother died when I was born, and I lost my father when I was five. Uncle Roland's looked after me for as long as I can remember. He knows I get anxious when he travels, and that's why he sends me all the owls, to let me know that he's all right. Has your uncle traded with many goblins? Yes, for ages. Even speaks gobbledygook. But he only recently mentioned... Ranrock's lot. <sighs> Insisting the galleons were worth the risk. He does it for me. Between robes and supplies, attending Hogwarts costs a fair sickle. And besides that, Uncle Roland has expensive taste. He's sacrificed so much for me over the years. I promised him that as soon as I finish Hogwarts, I shall be the one taking care of him. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. <laughs> He's very thorough in his record-keeping, notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last owl, he drew me a map of his next stop. He'd planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. Oh, Uncle Lumos. What have you got yourself into? All right, time to go learn some gobbledygook. The Dedalian keys are back. <laughs> Aren't they brilliant? The Dedalian Keys. It's another quest. Oh. Oh, look at that guy. Look at that girl. Oh. And oh. that clapping is so obnoxious. Stop it. Alright, time to go... Over to... Wherever the marker is. Alright, so I have a Foo Flame. the entrance I'll go over here the river. Could this be Mr. Oaks's campsite? Ranrock's loyalists, just ahead. Hmm, should I take them by force or be discreet? Should I take them by force or be discreet? I guess I can try being discreet. Oh, yeah. Another human? Another human? Actually, what's the point of being discreet? Let me just... Oh, get wrecked, all of you. Now, to 
find out what happened here. That wouldn't have been nearly as fun if I went incognito. That was way better. Alright, let's Rebellion. see. There's a door. Mr. Oaks's trade journal. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. So it looks like whatever this is, X marks the spot. And then is this the campsite I'm at? I'm not sure. Is this to go down? The road or the stream. There's a door over here. Revelia. Let me blast you away. Incendio. That work. You know what? I probably need Bombarda for this. And I don't have Bombarda, so maybe you can maybe you can Leviosa this. Leviosa. I'm not. Okay. There's the Revenue. door. It's over there. Wingardium Leviosa. Right, there we go. And then if I can blast it somehow. Confringo. Oh, let's go. Mr. Oaks's trade journal. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Alright, um... So use the map to follow the trail. Let me check this cave out real quick. Lumos. Revelia. Lumos. Really? All that for just a scarf? Okay, so this definitely looks like the campsite. Let me look up the map really quick, or the image. Oh, what's in this? That's the map, and then what's in this? Okay, looking at the map, I want to go down past some rocks and then some ruins until I reach sort of like a window. Okay, so just to put things into perspective, this is the camp where we got the image from. And the image is... This one right here. Um, according to the compass, we kind of want to go southwest, past the rock formation, past whatever this is, that, and then eventually reach that place. So here's the camp, and then I look southwest. I go southwest. This is that rock formation. And then once you reach this rock formation, it'll have a dialogue text pop up that says something like A rock formation. That's the first landmark on this map. Now to find the crooked tree. Okay, so pretty much after that text it says to look for a crooked tree. And then according to the image, I'm supposed to just keep going southwest. So I'll keep going southwest and see what happens. So I think according to the image, I'm also supposed to be following the, the river or the stream. So I'll keep following that southwest. Can enter while mounted. There's a food flame here. Let me grab this food flame. What do we have here? What's that? Who's there? Right, it says to enter the goblin outpost, so let me go ahead and do that. Goodness. Hmm, I may have more luck higher up in the keep. I just have to get higher up. Let's 
Let's see. It's just over there. No point be being sneaky. I mean, I'll just fight through them. How many enemies do we got? Got some guys over here. What? Gear slots are full. What the heck is in this? Uh. Oh, they're already full. Come on. Let me dismantle any greens. This one's an upgrade. I'll dismantle you. Actually, you know what? Since there is a foo flame here. Let me, let me get that item real quick. Oh my god, I cannot. Okay, so, looking at the map, I am over at Karo Ruins. So I'll fast travel here. First I'll go ahead and sell my items and then come back, so. Okay, so I sold off most of the excess gear and then came back. And it looks like the item that was on the floor despawned, but that's okay. What went on here? A ladder. That's what I need. Revelio. Lumos. Let me change it to daytime. Hopefully, it makes everything brighter. Okay, yeah, that's much better. I'm gonna Petrificus Totalis' ass. Petrificus Totalis. I'll get wrecked, bro. Right, I gotta go. This guy over there, he's coming this way. Let me just mess him up. Is this like another way of getting up here? Interesting. Perhaps not the best place to be caught alone. So it's said to go higher up, so I'll keep going. This car. Hey man. <laughs> Talk about this. This is the spot on the map. I'd best have my way. Do you say he's afraid of heights? Let's get this over with. Revelio. Ah, but if you don't fill up the much, you can actually go further. It's true. Eat a big meal, you'll be slowed down, babe. Light, and you'll be swift. <laughs> but who wants to be swift? How do we get those guys up there? Maybe I can't. We could go in here. What will we find in here? Revelio. Lumos. I kind of wish Lumos cast an orb of 
light or the little orb that kind of followed you around so it doesn't constantly keep getting turned off. It's punishment to us all! human around! Incendio! Where's this guy at? It looks as though Adelaide's instincts were spot on. Ranrock has fooled you all to your demise. Alohomora. word is worthless. This prisoner owes us the metal we were promised. Now quiet. Ah, ah. Is that the best you can do? Secret passage. What? I can't change the game. Oh, there we go. Revelia. Oh. 
Lumos. What's over here? Pavelio. Is this where I have to go? What was the point of opening that boiler door? There's nothing in here. behind that boiler door and then go on from there. Touch your hell. Whoa. Well, thank you for making me the first object of your suspicions. Know who my friends are now, don't Let's I? Just take him head on, I guess. <laughs> I just sold all my gear and I'm already full. Uh, let me. So I'll cut here, I'll travel, sell all my stuff, and come back, and hopefully it, all the enemies don't respawn. So I'll be right back. Okay, so never mind. Um, map isn't available. I'll just call. Hmm. So that, that might be a legendary, or is it red? I can't tell. Let me dismantle something. Better, I'll dismantle our green. I'll dismantle this green. See if this is a legendary. It was okay, so I'll skip the greens. I'll get the legendary. It was not a legendary. And then our ring gear slots full again. They are. So let me dismantle. I want to dismantle a purple. I'll dismantle this. Right, that's kind of it for now. I'll be full again once I open this chest. Okay. Oh, is this a legendary? It might be a legendary. Man, I've done a couple Merlin trials, so... I don't know, my gear slot's still 20 out of 20, which is unfortunate. I'll dismantle you, I guess. And I hope it's a legendary. 
It's not. Rebellion. Anything up there? Maybe. Some gold. Whoa. on everything. I'll just, um, I can always come back and get the chests, so keep going with the quest. I wonder if I can eat something to put down. Let me also, I'll finger! Here! I feel like they should have at least given you 40 gear slots or 50 to start off. This is kind of obnoxious. That may be legendary, so let me dismantle something. Nope, it was just a green. Rebellion. Certain we can come to an agreement if you'll just set me free. We buy you, Leviosa. Lumos. Hello, M Mr. Oaks. Yes, I I'm here. They've taken my wand. This cell has an enchanted lock. I have experience with these locks, but I need my wand if I have any chance of opening it. Look for a boiler door. I've heard them speak of it. I need to find Mr. Oaks's wand. Where could it be? Mr. Oaks's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free. Lumos. my wand and wait you're a student oh we must get you to safety immediately it's dangerous it's all right mr oaks i've dealt with these goblins before dear merlin you're either very lucky or very talented well, how did you find me i'm a friend of adelaide's she was worried about your business with ranrock's loyalists oh she was right to be i couldn't go through with the agreement and when i told them i ended up blindfolded and behind bars been locked in that infernal cell for so long they'd forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasting goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. Am I right that you speak gobbledygook? Unbeknownst to Ramrock's fiends, I do. I've always had an affinity for goblin culture. Knew I wanted to be a metal trader ever since I was a lad. 
It wasn't easy learning the language. It's, it's complex. And my memory's as weak as my knees these days. But after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient. At least, I'd like to think so. You mentioned you overheard things. <sighs> Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against wizardkind began. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them and the creatures. The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ranrock nearly to death. Ever since, Ranrock has despised wizard kind, sees us all as cruel. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Mr. Oaks was lucky. Ranrock's lot would never have freed him. Revenge. Alright, so I think next course of action would be to knock out a couple Merlin trials and try and get the gear slot cap maxed out, or raised up at least. But for now, this looks like a good stopping point. Lumos, 